Hi, my name is Ben, and over lockdown, me and my brother have been enjoying playing many board games. When we saw the lockdown leadership challenge for this week, we took it as the perfect opportunity to make a video showcasing one of our newest games. Hi, my name is Harry, and I'd like to introduce you to a game called Minecraft Builders and Biomes. Minecraft Builders and Biomes is a two to four player game in which you explore the overworld, mine blocks, and build structures. Let's first learn how to set up a four player game. So you're gonna grab your building and mob tiles and split them out equally into a four by four grid, just like this. Now you're going to shuffle the 16 weapon tiles and place one at the end of each column and row as I'm doing here. Next, you'll need to assemble the support structure from the material cubes, as shown here. You will then need to place the support structure on the bedrock play tile. Once you have done this, you can then fill the support structure with the material cubes to form a block. Now, each player will need to select a player token and the weapon tokens to go along with it. Now onto playing the game. The youngest player will start the game off. There are two different actions that you must choose and complete. You cannot perform the same action twice. Once your turn ends, the round moves left to the next player. There are three different rounds. After the third round, the player with the most experience wins. On your turn, there are several actions that you can complete. One of them is exploring the overworld. To do this, you can move your player token up to two spaces. You'll then need to reveal all four tiles surrounding the player's space. You can also build structures. To do this, you'll need the required amount of material cubes as shown on the card. You can also collect weapon tokens. Your player will need to be next to the token in order for you to complete this. You then take your token and add it to your collection. The final action you can perform is encountering a mob. You'll need to be next to the mob tile to perform this action, and then use one of your weapon tiles to defeat it. Now onto scoring. In the first round, you select a biome and identify the largest group of connected spaces that share the same characteristic. For each space in this group, you claim the number of victory points as shown by the scoring card. In this example, there are three desert tiles connected to each other, scoring the most points on the board. For the second round of scoring, you choose a material and identify how many of that type of structure you have adjacent to the tile. You then gain the amount of points shown on the scoring card. For this example, there are two sand buildings connected to each other, scoring points for adjacent structures. For the final scoring round, use the same system as round two. After the third round, the player with the most experience wins. Thank you for watching, and I hope you now know how to play Minecraft Builders and Biomes.